Okay. I'm going to try my long bar to bar, which has 114 stitches. Let's see if I can turn them without dropping any. First I'm going to bring them all forward. Then I'm going to put this here into place. No, wait. First I've got to move this over here. That's number one. Move that over there. Drop it. Lift that off the needles. And then place my stopper. Right here. And the other half right there. And I'll push them all back against the bed. Like this. And I'll put the other stopper. Make sure none of my needles fall. None of my needles can move forward. This is my first. And this one. I just made these out of cardboard. They're not exactly the best. Okay. Make sure none of my lashes have closed. I've got this side here up the thicker part of it. Make sure I've got one on each needle. Then I push the stitches over to this bar. That's where it gets tricky because I have to reach behind here so far and it's hard to do without dropping all your stitches back off. It's definitely a little on the tricky side. I want to get them down here as far as possible because I'd like them to go over those pins as much as I can. Okay. Now push all the latches forward. You have to watch. I've got a couple here that want to close again. And you really don't want that. Now lift it up. And I turn it over, which is hard to do when you've got this many stitches. Now, I pull them outwards on the side. I'm going to lay this over here like that. I'm going to stop right there where the other ruler is attached. I want to break it across there. Because the trick is, you want to catch not just part of your stitches, but all of your stitches. You don't want to split them. If you split them, and a few rows down, you'll notice that you only needed a partial stitch, and it doesn't look very good. But it's kind of hard to tell. I'm going to remove these two things. I'll push the stitches back against the bed like this pick up the slack in my arm push the carriage back over here turn it up and look and you repeat each and every row 